let's take a look at the Yuma Digi Bison X20. And this is a rugged device that has the ability to be submerged underwater. It has IP68 and IP69 military standard 8100 for the certification. Well, let's just jump into it. If you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, well, salute. Medigi Bison X20 is a rugged smartphone that can endure harsh environments with its certification in water and dust and military standard. It also does have a Helio P60 processor, NFC. It also does have dual unlock for facial recognition and fingerprint. You get some shortcut keys for the hot buttons as well, so you can actually customize them. You have some decent camera quality, so you get a 20 megapixel rear camera on here and an 8 megapixel for your facial camera, your, your front camera. And you do get AI face unlock on here. And, you know, that does give you the ability to use Google Pay with the NFC feature as well. When it comes to capturing images in daylight, I noticed that the shutter speeds on this device's camera were actually pretty good. Now, I was really impressed with the overall ability for the Umidigi Bison X20 to capture some really good detail, especially when it came to moving objects. It was able to capture those without any issues whatsoever. So the picture quality came out really good for this device. And I saw that it did have a world premiere for this device and it's on sale marked down. So you could actually get it for about one hundred and fifteen dollars on Aliexpress on Amazon. You can get it for a little bit more. So it does have this shortcut key with the orange highlight with some texture to it. The SIM remover slot does have the ability to pull it out with a fingernail. You get the buttons for the volume rockers there and your fingerprint on the side. Has a nice decent feel in the hand when it comes to the feel in the hand. It definitely has some good weight to it at 278 grams of weight. Um, the display is 6.5 three inches IPS HD plus 1600 by 720. And like I said, it does have a pretty decent grip to it. It does have like rugged bumper protection on all four corners as well as a lip for protection when you drop it face down. And so this is going to be packing that, you know, um, graphene black color right here. So I do have that color. It also does have the ability to expand the storage up to one terabyte of ex expansion. You'd get six gigabytes of RAM with 128 additional for the, you know, uh, internal storage and also six gigabytes of virtual memory. This device does have an LED light on the front as well, which is definitely really solid. It has a toolbox for different types of things of um, that are going to be helpful if you're the type of person who works in an outdoor environment. It will have some really nice tools. Gyroscope is on board and we also do have Android 13 running out of the box. Now, when it comes to the video quality of this device, it's not, you know, the best that you'll ever see in the world, but it can definitely get the job done. The, you know, stability is not, um, doesn't have auto state. It doesn't have stabilization when it comes to the electronic image stabilization, but the video quality is actually pretty crispy and pretty clear. It's also realistic when it comes to the colors. And this device is actually built to withstand, you know, drops up to, 1.5 meters it can shield against dust dirt and sand and it enables the device to be basically enduring different type of tests with high water pressure and temperature and so it's going to basically be resistant to 1.8 meters when it comes to the drops at a high range and so you get waterproof and you get dust proof on here so you don't have to worry about using this device in harsh environments if you're the type of person who works in construction or outdoors or you know any environment like that this device is made of some really premium materials as well the appearance is really stylish has a comfortable grip thanks to the special combo of the ag fiberglass and rubber cushion the stylish ag fiberglass gives it a nice sleek appearance and the rubber cushion helps guard the phone from accidental drops so I definitely think that's a really nice feature that it does have. This thing does have a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, 
which is guaranteed 12 hours of gaming, 20 hours of video playback, 40 hours of phone calls, and 550 hours of standby time. Now, when it comes to the toolbox that I mentioned earlier, the Umidigi Bison X20 packs the flashlight bubble leveler, pick hanging, height measurement, as well as the magnifier, the alarm. This is gonna give you the plumb bob, the compass, the protractor, and it's gonna be a really nice solid experience. It also does have an FM radio, which is good because you don't have to plug in a headphone jack to actually use it. But this device will pack a headphone jack just in case you did wanna use that as well. And the shortcut buttons are really cool because you get not only one shortcut button, but you actually get two. And each shortcut button gives you three different functionalities that you can use with any application. And because the Umidigi Bison X20 gives you a waterproof feature, you also do get a feature on here in the shortcut buttons, which launches the underwater camera, which is actually pretty cool because you can use the macro camera as well. But the underwater camera will allow you to take pictures while you're swimming in, you know, um, harsh environments and you can take pictures of stuff with the camera underwater. You also do get a macro camera, which will allow you to focus up really close from one to four centimeters of distance. Here, so I'm going to try that and it's given us a few options here, like people, flowers, buildings, cars, scenery. And when you turn that on, it'll actually make the picture come out a lot better. So right now it's, it's actually showing up as a sunset. All right guys, so now we can actually get a really good appreciation for the sunset from the rear camera. It's a 20 megapixel and I'm, you know, I'm just walking without a tripod. I do have a Boya microphone, lavalier microphone in. So you can see you're able to capture some really good detail when it comes to the video. I definitely think this thing is worth it. But make sure you go ahead and check out the information that I leave down below for you guys. Because these cameras for the price are absolutely beautiful when it comes to the detail. So you can see I'm actually able to record like the really good detail here. And um, you know, obviously this is the sunset on the Umidigi um, Bison X20. And so after using the Umidigi Bison X20 for about one week now, I'm definitely convinced that this is a good phone that you could use on a regular basis when it comes to watching, you know, social media and videos and movies. You can also get stuff done on here because the processing chip is really fast and it has a 90 hertz refresh rate. So when it comes to scrolling from certain apps to another, everything is pretty much seamless and very responsive. I did notice that the launcher that comes on this device doesn't give you the ability to have an app tray. So it Spe specifically handles this, this device with a you know home menu without an app tray so if you did want to add an app tray you could just download your own launcher on here so you know it does have a single firing speaker on the back and one of the things i noticed about the single firing speaker is that it can get covered up when you lay it on a flat surface but other than that it did pr get pretty loud the umidigi bison x20 does give you some security features on here so you can monitor the overall security and health of the device it also does give you some battery optimization so that you can monitor the long-term battery health and so you can actually expand the memory as well six gigabytes and you can keep more apps open in the background i did like the fact that this device does have those hot keys and shortcut keys as well as a bunch of other features like led lights to help you you know when it comes to getting notifications in you will be able to see the light on the top right corner of the device whenever you get a notification that will turn blue and then when the battery is at 90 or higher it'll be green and then when it goes below that you know it, it, it will you know show red when it's at a low battery percentage and so media content was really good on here you can actually watch media content at 1080p resolution and the wi-fi connection was very stable very few drops when it came to actually streaming content on here so i didn't even have to worry about that the fm radio did come in handy because it basically had a very good signal strength and you didn't have to use a headphone jack to actually access it as far as gaming i was able to compete 
with other you know gamers on you know streaming on PUBG and it handled pretty much every game like that I wanted to play on here so I definitely was impressed with the overall experience and so the Yuma Digibison X20 is definitely a good solid um, phone for um, under 150. And so if you did want to get into the budget game and hold on to a device right now that is pretty sturdy and can handle pretty much everything that you throw at it, then I could definitely recommend the Bison X20. But make sure you guys stay locked in for more videos just like this. If you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. I'll check you guys later. I'll hit you back. Later, crew. Peace.